Good morning, this is news photographer Andrew Melendez. I am at St. Joseph Hospital and I'd like to introduce you to Daniel Majors. I'm an EMT with AMR. We're teaching the public compression only CPR today. And what is that? Uh, just compressions to the chest to keep the blood, or the oxygen that's in the blood, flowing to the heart and brain until EMS services arrive. Thank you. And you are? I'm Kyle Pitcock, paramedic with American Medical Response. Can you show me how easy this task is that can possibly Ab save a life? Absolutely. So, so pretty easy task to save a life. Anybody can do it. First thing we're doing is making sure our victim is unresponsive and not breathing. We locate the center of the chest and you place the heel of your palm right in the center of the chest. You can either interlace your fingers or support your wrist and you're pushing hard and fast at the center of the chest until help arrives. We're doing this at a rate of about 100 to 120 per minute. In the center of the chest, we're pushing hard and pushing fast. How hard is that to do? It's very simple. And um, how can that make a difference? This makes a very large difference. Like Daniel said, this is what continues that oxygenated blood to be circulating throughout the body, keeping brain and other vital organs alive. And can I have you show me that again? I'm gonna ask you another question that people are okay. afraid of doing. When they start this, go ahead. Um, they're afraid they're going to hurt somebody, break their rib. What's most important at this moment in time for that victim? At this moment in time, the number one thing I'm worried about is resuscitation and saving a life. If there are any collateral injuries to the rib cage or the thoracic cavity, we just say that's collateral damage. Well, thank you both very much. You're going to be here one more day on Thursday, is it? Uh, we're going throughout the community. Okay, great. Thank you very much. You guys have a good day. Thank, thank you.